and welcome to Ganesh Institute channel. So today we are going to discuss about inclined asymptote. So what if you have you are given with a curve, an equation of a curve, and that asymptote, that means that straight line which curves the uh, which curves the curve at two points, is inclining, is having slope. Okay, then what you can do? So let me tell you this with an example. You need to find out the asymptote. You are given with an equation. Now, first step is to find out all of those uh, high degree order variables. So, you can see the highest degree is 3. It is it is of 3 degree. This is also 3. 1 and 2, 3. Because it is 1 term. So, adding all the powers, you will get the degree. So, this is also 3. This is also 3. Right? So, these 4 terms. Now, because you know the slope intercept form is y is equals to mx plus c. So let's say your, your x is 1 and y is m. Okay. For first step, you need to consider this. That means your third degree order of m, the value for function will become. So m cube minus 2 times 1 into m square minus 1 square into m plus 2, 1 cube is 1. Now, after putting, after substituting x as 1, y as m into higher order, uh, high degree, you need to put them as 0 and find out the value of m. So, you can, if you put m as 2, what will you get? 2 times 2 is 4 times 2, 8 minus 2 plus 2, 0, right? So that means m is equal to 2 is your factor. So now find out rest 2 by long division m square, m cube minus 2 m square. Then after minus m plus 2, so minus 1. All right? So, the roots are m square minus 1 and m minus 2. Correct? So, the values of 1 plus minus 1 and 2. Right? These are your values of m. So, first step is to find out the value of m. Thereafter, find out only the values having one less degree. That means you have found out about highest degree which is 3 here. Now take those terms which are having degree as 2. So this is having 2, 2, 2. Okay, the rest are 1. So now these are 3 y square minus 7 x y plus 2 y square. So firstly find out m. Thereafter the slope that means that incline is in turn. That means the value of c you need to find out. And that will be your minus 5 to m upon differentiation of your highest degree. Alright. So, this is your... Okay. Here also put y as m and x as 1. So, y as m, 3m square. This is 3y square. This is also 2y square. So, this should be 5y square, right? Um, it's strange, but yes... If it is 3 and 2, you can put it as 5, right? 5y square minus 7xy. So 5m square minus 7 times x is 1, 7m, right? Thereafter, now put the value. 5 to is 5m square minus 7m. And differentiation of this term. So 3m square minus 2 times 2, 4m, minus 1, right? So now you have got your value of c. Now what you need to do, the last step, first step was to find out, generally, uh, you need to find out first step, which is to find out the value of m, thereafter find out value of c, by taking this, and thereafter, put down all these values one by one into this, and find out three different values of c, okay? So, if your m is 1, if your m is 1, what the value? Minus 5 minus 7 minus 2 by 
3 minus 4 minus 1 minus 1 is 2. So it will be 1, right? Then after if your m is minus 1 and if your m is 2. So if your m is minus 1, so minus, minus 1 square is 1, 5, minus 1 is plus 7 and 5, 12. By minus 1 square is 1, 3, minus 1 is plus 4, 7, minus 1, 6. So you have got minus 2 here and for m is equal to 2, minus 2 times 2 is 4, 5 times 4 is 20, minus 14 which is 6 and 2 times 4, 4 times 3, 12, minus 8, 4, minus 1, 3, again minus 2. So these are your values for inclined asymptote which is you know this is slope intercept form this is your slope this is intercept and you have got your intercept that means inclined asymptote all right i hope you have uh, got this and if you like this if you understand this then don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel till my next video take care of yourself bye bye